फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज दलित सोनी एंड यू आर वाचिंग न्यूज ऑन मैप वर्ल्ड बाय दृष्टि आई इन दिस एपिसोड विल बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टेन लोकेशन फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड ओवर विच कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन विच वॉज गिवन टू यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन The question was, which of the following straits divides Tsushima Island? This is a Japanese word, and this island is belonging to Japan. Okay, so that is one thing. Options are Kamchatka Strait, Taiwan Strait, Korea Strait, and Luzon Strait. So you can look at the options and answer in the comment box. Uh, when we are talking about this Tsushima Island, this is an uh, island of Japan, and when we are talking about this particular island, this divides. You know, uh, there are two countries when we are talking about the north and the south. Okay, so first thing is in the north it has South Korea, and in the south it has Japan. Okay, other than that, if we are talking about this particular island, there are two water bodies also which it divides. One is your Sea of Japan, and second is your East China Sea. Okay, and the question is which strait divides the island? Okay, so option C is your right answer. That is Korea Strait. Okay, so let's see it on the map. Here you will see. That this is your Tsushima Islands. When we are talking about this Korea Strait, that is somewhere over here. Okay, so this is basically whole Strait is Korea Strait. But the thing is, when we are talking about this island, so it is you know across this particular Strait, that is Korea Strait. One thing. Second thing is in the north you will see that is Republic of Korea, that is basically your South Korea. In the south you will see Japan over here. So that is the second thing which we have discussed. Third is that one side you have Sea of Japan. Okay, second side you will have East China Sea. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Now we'll move to the next part that is question number one. So here the question is which statement is not correct regarding Lake Nethron? Okay, so you can read this and uh, uh, answer in the comment box. Here you will see that when we are talking about this Lake Nethron, this is somewhere in African continent. Okay, and statement one is or option uh, A is. It is located on the border of Tanzania and Zambia. Okay. Second is uh, its water is highly alkaline. Third is it is a recognized Ramsar site and important bird and biodiversity area. And D that is it is the world's largest breeding ground for little flamingos. Okay. Now coming to the statement one. When we are talking about it is located on the uh, you can say Tanzania and Zambia. So that is incorrect statement because yes it is uh, in the Tanzania and it is on the border of Tanzania and Kenya. Okay, and not Zambia. So that is statement one is incorrect, and they have asked you the incorrect one. So option A is your right answer. Now second uh, option we will see. It is water. Uh, its water is highly alkaline. Okay. So when we are talking about the nature of the water here, that is alkaline. That is true because of the volcanic matter. Okay. There are various volcanoes in the vicinity, and this volcanic matter is uh, joining the water. So that is why it is alkaline. Then third is it is recognized as a Ramsar site, so this is also true, and it is a uh, uh, you can say uh, important bird and biodiversity area, so that is also true. Last one is it, it is the world's largest breeding ground for little flamingos. Okay, so when we are talking about these little flamingos, here you will see these are flamingos basically, and uh, uh, this is the largest you know breeding ground for that. You know that when we are talking about these flamingos, these are the birds which are traveling from different parts. Okay. So that is there. Second thing is these flamingos are also found in India when we are talking about Gujarat. Okay, India is Gujarat. They are found. Other than that, they are found in African continent, which we have seen. They are found in the both Americas, North America as well as South America, and some are found in European continent as well. Okay. So now moving further, here you will see the location of lake. This is the continent over here, and here you will see this small part over here. That is basically the lake. Here you will see it is on the border. Some part is in Kenya as well. So you will see that this is the border over here, and this is Tanzania, and this is Kenya. So it is on the border. So that is uh, you know a right thing. Second thing is here you will see this is the lake, and this is the border. Mostly you will see that in Africa you will see uh, in some parts the borders are basically in straight lines because these borders were drawn by the colonial masters. 
in a room okay and not on the ground so basically they took the map they have actually divided it with the help of a scale and that is how these you can say lands were divided in africa and because of which there are various ethnic crises uh, which are going on in the africa till now so that is a colonial legacy you can say anyway lake netron one is uh, one side it has kenya second side it has Tanzania. So, it's uh, it is basically present in both the countries, but very small part is present in Kenya. Okay. So, that is there. Now, moving further, question number 2. Consider the following statement related to rhinos. First is, Ujong Kulon National Park is the last home for the wild javan rhinosaurus. Okay. Second is, 28 September is celebrated as the World Rhino Day. Third is, white rhinos are listed as near threatened in the IUCN red list. Okay. Now, coming to the statement 1, that is Ujung Kulon National Park, which is located in Indonesia. Okay, we will see on the map. It is the last home for the wild Javan rhino. So, this is a correct statement. Second is 28th September is celebrated as World Rhino Day. That is incorrect because it is 22nd September. Okay, then coming to the third one, white rhinos are listed as near threatened in IUCN red list. So, this is also correct okay so one and three is correct they have asked you how many statements are correct you can say option b only two okay one and three is correct okay now moving further here you will see this is the area uh, you can say in, in indonesia there is this uh, place called jakarta and in the vicinity of that you have ujung kulon national park okay so that is there other than that you know that uh, the puffer part here we have malaysia uh, this is brunei okay this whole part is basically indonesia okay recently uh, in last few years the you can say capital of indonesia has been shifted so you can answer me in the comment box that uh, from which place to which place they have transferred it okay now moving further these are the basically different type of rhinos and when we are talking about the uh, white rhinos uh, so they are basically near threatened so that statement was correct okay now moving further, there are other rhinos that is uh, greater one horned rhino, okay, and this is vulnerable. Then coming to the next, that is black rhino, then Javan rhino, Sumatran rhino. These are different type of rhinos, okay. Now moving further, question number three. Consider the following statement regarding Tibet, okay. Tibet was recently in news. Basically, the Dalai Lama has been in news because a delegation from USA came to meet them, and China has opposed, uh, had some kind of uh, concern with respect to that, and that is why we have taken this question for the, uh, with respect to Tibet, okay. Consider the following statements regarding Tibet. Tibet is bordered by India, Nepal, Myanmar and Bhutan. We will see. Second thing is uh, Yusang, Kham and Amdo are the three origin provinces of original provinces of Tibet. Okay. Third is Tibet Autonomous Region TAR is made up of Amdo province only. So we will see how many of the statements are correct. Now coming to the first statement which is talking about the areas bordered by. So basically Tibet has this is Tibetan plateau and when we are talking about the various uh, uh, nations, okay. So, here you will see there is Nepal, there is Bhutan, India, then uh, some part of you will see this Myanmar is also over here, okay. And then we have China also there, okay. So, basically you can say these all are basically having border with the Tibet. So, uh, Tibet is bordered by India, Nepal, Myanmar and Bhutan. So, this is correct. Second is Yusang, Kham and Amdo are the three original provinces of Tibet, okay. So, when we are talking about this particular statement, that is also true, okay. Coming to the third part, that is Tibet Autonomous Region, TAR is made up of Amdo province only. Now, this is incorrect because when we are talking about this Tibet Autonomous Region, that is made of uh, Yusang, Kham, okay. But Amdo is not part of that, okay. So, Amdo is not part of uh, Tibet Autonomous Region, okay. So, statement 3 is incorrect and they are asking you how many of them is correct. So, basically you can say 1 and 2 is correct, option B would be your right answer over here, okay. Again here you can see there are countries like Nepal which is having a border with the Tibetan plateau. Then Bhutan, we have India uh, that is Sikkim is there. Then uh, some part of Arunachal Pradesh is also there. Then coming to next that is your Burma or you can say Myanmar. Okay, so that is also there and China. Now moving further, question number 4. The Republic of Dagestan was in news recently. Where uh, is it located? When we are talking about the Republic of uh, uh, Dagestan, so basically you can see in Russia, uh, in the southwest, this is uh, the place which is located and recently it was in news because of the some violent activities which has happened over there and some uh, uh, officers of administration has been killed, okay. So, that is why it was in news. Option B is your right answer, that is Russia. Let us see it on the map here. So, this is Russia and here you can see this is Dagestan, okay. This is your Caspian. So, you can remember that and here uh, specifically you can see this is Russia and this is Dagestan and other borders are with Georgia. 
and you can say Azerbaijan. Okay, this is part of Russia. Okay, so we are not considering that as a border because this is part of it, and other borders are you can say Georgia and Azerbaijan over here. Now, moving further, question number five: Which of the following countries claim uh, claims part of the South China Sea? Okay. We have discussed that uh, particular thing earlier as well when we are talking about the South China Sea. There are various, uh, you can say, uh, small islands which are having claimed, having been claimed by the various countries over there. Okay. So, when we are talking about the South China Sea, Vietnam is having, uh, you can say, uh, boundary with South China Sea. China is having it. Then when we are talking about the Malaysia, it is also having it and Philippines also has the boundary with the South China Sea. Laos is not having it and Indonesia is not having it. Okay. So basically 2 and 5 is not there so you can eliminate this because there is 2 then this is also eliminated this is also eliminated so option c would be your right answer in the map if you see here you can see this is the map of your south china sea okay now you know that there is this some cow cow's tongue kind of phenomena which is there there or you can say there is this nine dash line which shows that china is uh, you know uh, claiming that this whole part or the uh, cow's tongue is basically coming under uh, they are uh, you can say exclusive economic zone okay so uh, but the, there are other countries like vietnam like uh, philippines like uh, you know uh, when we are talking about the region of taiwan they are also claiming it japan is also claiming it in the you can say upper uh, uh, corner if we see but anyways if we are talking about this particular uh, region over here that is south china sea so there are certain islands like paracel island which is basically dis disputed between vietnam china and philippines okay then coming to the partly island here so this partly island is uh, disputed between Vietnam, Philippines, and Malaysia. So these are various islands. Other than that, there is second Thomas Sol. There is uh, you know other different islands which are basically present over here, and they are having uh, some kind of dispute with the China. Okay. So here you can say Vietnam is there, then China is there, Taiwan is there, Philippines is there, Malaysia is there. Okay. But here Laos is not part of it, and Indonesia is not having claims over here. Okay. So I hope that is clear. Now moving further to the next question, consider the following countries, Afghanistan, Iran, Pakistan, Iraq, Oman, how many of the above mentioned countries are part of the golden crescent, okay. When we are talking about the golden crescent, it is famous for opium, okay. Now if we are looking at these countries, uh, so here we can say that one is your Afghanistan, second is Pakistan, then we have Iran. These three countries are basically part of your golden crescent, okay. So here you can see only three. Other than that, there is this golden triangle as well. Okay, so you can tell me in the comment box where this golden triangle is uh, located. Okay, now coming to the maps over here, here you will see this is basically Pakistan, this is Afghanistan, and this is Iran. And this shape over here is of crescent shape, that is why it is called as golden crescent. Okay, so that is about it. Option B is your answer. Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan. Now moving to the last part that is the practice question for you. Now where is the Galilee region which sometimes appears in the news located? Israel, France, South Africa or Sri Lanka? So you can go through this particular question and answer me in the comment box. With that I would like to take your leave. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe it. Have a nice day. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.